This season of Cooking Hawaiian Style is brought to you by Four Seasons Resort Oahu. Aloha, I'm Lanai with another edition of Cooking Hawaiian Style right here from the Four Seasons Resort at Koalina on the island of Oahu. You know, we always try to give back to the community and support. So today, some very special guests from the Wounded Warrior Project. Thomas and Tony will be here cooking for us. So let's get cooking. When you're living on the island, such a diverse Hawaii, when you've tasted all the flavors, from the mountain to the sea, we're cooking Hawaiian style. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Tony and Thomas from the Wounded Warrior Project. How are you guys doing? Great, great. Awesome. Thank you for joining us. Tell everybody, what is the Wounded Warrior Project? The Wounded Warrior Project is a veteran service organization that was founded in 2004 to honor and empower today's uh, wounded veterans uh, that were coming back from overseas from Afghanistan and Iraq. And, and you know what? We really appreciate what you guys do. You guys uh, do a lot, and I don't think people really understand everything that you go through. But today, we're going to have some fun and cook, aren't we? Outstanding. Absolutely. <laughs> and wh what are we going to cook today? Well, today I, we came up with uh, three different recipes that, uh -huh. that we thought was uh, uh, was something that was our signature. Okay. So uh, we are going to do the fajitas. All right. Uh, guacamole and then pico de gallo. Okay. And are these are these your recipes? Not really. We we <laughs> stole these off Pinterest. So. Uh, hey, mahalo Pinterest. Now, do you guys cook? Not as much. I'm, not as much as I'd like to. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What's your normal everyday job? I work with the state. I am Governor Ige's military affairs liaison. Okay. And I'm the outreach coordinator for the Pacific Rim for the right on. Project. Okay, we're going to get started. I turned on the fire for you. What do we need? All right. So it looks like we're going to go ahead and take the steak. Okay. And go Should ahead and put some oil on this? Yeah, definitely. All right. So how many times you guys practice this? Uh, three times now. You practice three times. All right. So this better come out good, huh? Because you practice three times. All right. Yeah. It's got some oil in there. I'm going to turn this down a little bit. What are we doing? So wet dry first, right? Wet, dry you do wet dry first. All right. So you can tell that they've only practiced this three times because now they're discussing it. <laughs> Lucky thing, this isn't a competition. Go ahead. What are so the spices we got? The here? spices that we're going with is red pepper, uh, salt and pepper, cayenne pepper, cayenne pepper, paprika, mm. okay. cumin, and chili, uh, flakes. chili flakes. All right. Is this too hot? How hot do we need it? Is it good? We're gonna put that all in there. Now you're gonna are you gonna blend that? I'll take that out of your way. We are going to blend that with the uh, the wet sauces that we have as well. So okay, it's going to be. Okay, what kind of sauces you got? So it's uh, olive oil, Worcestershire, and minced garlic. But okay. then we're also going to have lime juice and uh, pineapple juice as well. You need well. some acidity in there, yeah? Absolutely. All right, so we dump it all in. All right, we got the amounts on our website, but we're looking at what about two teaspoons of each on this one? Yep. And then you got some garlic. And then this one here is the lime juice, right? Yes. What do you got there? About a cup. About a quarter cup is quarter what you want to use on that. Okay. And this one here? Uh, right at about uh, a quarter cup as well. A quarter cup. And what one was that? That would be the uh, pineapple juice Pineapple well. juice. Yeah. Love pineapple juice yeah. in there. Yeah, good. You got to take off your ring there. Let me remove this from the pan here a little bit. So you guys like to cook? I used to. Yeah, you used to? I, I don't get to do it as much as I used yeah. to because uh, the job's pretty demanding. I'm at work quite a bit, but when I have a little free time, I, I do like to throw down in the kitchen. Yeah. yeah. And who's the better cook of the, of the two of you? Oh, definitely oh, me. Whoever yeah, yeah. the other person is cooking besides <laughs> us. So in my case, my wife. Yeah. Where yeah. are you originally from? Out of South Carolina. I don't know if you can tell or not, but my accent, yeah, I'm not no, from here. No, I can't, I can't tell at yeah. all. And how about you? I grew up here. I'm on one little high school, class hey, of 93. Yeah. Manahunis. Yes, indeed. The Manahunis are in the house. Yes, indeed. All right. All right. All right. So you just got that all soaked. Normally, would you put that? Would you do that longer? Uh, yeah. So it usually got goes for right there. It usually goes for uh, 30 minutes of the marinade. Okay. We'll throw it in the fridge and then bring it back out and let it sit. All right. Maybe put it in a Ziploc bag or something. Absolutely. All right. This is going to be really hot here. Yeah. All right. That, that smells well, good. That sounds like good. Turn it down just a little bit. Here you go. Perfect. So I like to do uh, three and a half minutes on each side. That's a little bit thicker than I usually use. What's what cut of meat are you using here? Uh, that is a skirt steak. Skirt skirt steak. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Skirt steak. So we're just gonna get that what well. 
Yeah. Where's your guys' uh, favorite place to eat in Hawaii? So many. I was gonna say I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty prone to Nico's. You, you like Nico? Uh, Nico's is very yeah. good. We've been trying to get them on the show for a while. How about you? Uh, I work in town, so Nico's. But of course, there's always the Zippies when you need something. Oh to drink, yes. Right? You stop at Zippies. Mahalo get a zip to, pack. The, to the Higa family. Yeah. Zippies, uh, of course, a staple here in Hawaii. All right, we're gonna get this cooking, and then we're gonna get it all put together in the next segment. Okay. All right, we're gonna take a little break. We got uh, Tony and Thomas here from the Wounded Warrior Project. Don't go anywhere. We are here at the Four Seasons Resort at uh, on Oahu, Koalina, cooking Hawaiian style. Throughout history, poi has always been a nutritious staple in the Hawaiian diet. The recipe and technique have been handed down from one generation to the next for hundreds of years. We at Taro Brand stay true to the traditional Hawaiian flavor used to create poi for you and your family to enjoy. We ship worldwide with our premium frozen poi and have many other products to choose from. From the past to the present, Taro Brand, perpetuating poi to the next generation. This segment of Cooking Hawaiian Style is brought to you by Hawaiian Pie Company and Elena's Finest Filipino Foods. Welcome back to Cooking Hawaiian Style. We got Tony and Thomas here from the uh, Wounded Warrior Project and we're making some fajitas. Uh, the steak's almost done. We put this on uh, in the last segment here. Is this done already? Yeah, it's go ahead. It's time to take that off now. All right, how long, how long do we have this uh, in there for? Uh, right about nine minutes. Nine to ten, depending on the, the cut of the steak. Okay, we use it a uh, use the skirt steak, right? Yeah, skirt steak. All right. What we got going on over there on that side? Just getting the vegetables ready to saute up in there. We got onion, uh, red onion. We got some bell, bell pepper, peppers, cilantro. Right. And then we got to let this uh, this uh, sit for a little bit, right? This steak. Yeah, definitely let it rest. Okay. To make sure the flavor. Let it breathe like a little bit. Okay, that looks good, man. Smells good too. All right, tell us a little bit about, about the Wounded Warrior Project. I think everyone has heard about it, but what does it actually do? So the Wounded Warrior Project is a veteran service organization that has 20 different programs and services that's offered to any uh, veteran that served in the uh, war on terror after 9-11. Uh, uh -huh. So basically, I'm the outreach coordinator for all the Pacific Rim here. Okay. So all the Hawaiian Islands, Guam, Samoa, and the uh, outer lying islands. And where, like you, you come from the east, haven't you? Uh, eventually, but uh, my wife, uh, she's from here, born, yeah. born and raised oh, you in, got, in Kapolei. You got sucked in. Oh yeah, whatever. yeah. Lucky so, you. So when she got assigned to uh, Tripler Hospital, Army uh -huh. Medical Center out here, uh, we came out here and we've been here the last two years. You like it? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, get, there's no other place like Hawaii. With this guy, huh? Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> what we got there over there? We're good to go. We got the cilantro. All right. We just the do peppers, like a, bell peppers are all. What done a handful and, of cilantro. How many bell peppers did you do? Uh, we've got one and a half in there right now. I mean, we've got a big steak, but there's there's just the three of us going to be eating. Yeah. Well, there, yeah. So. This is just for me. Okay. What, what <laughs> do we bad. What do we do with this next? <laughs> You can be sauteing this off in that in that okay. large pan. So I'm gonna get this fire that, going get that now. Fired up. All right. Yeah, gonna get some oil over there. We'll get this going. Right on. And uh, and uh, how do you like uh, working where? I mean, you're working with the governor. Yes. Aren't you? Yes. How how you like that job? It's a whole new experience for me. I've been. Uh, I've been. I was in the military at first. You know. Yeah. Uh, I actually joined the Navy out of Hawaii. Then after 9-11 happened. I got out in 99 and then 9-11 happened while I was in college. Uh -huh. Re-enlisted. They said, do you want to jump out of airplanes over at the Army recruit? I said, sounds like a plan. Uh -huh. Signed up there. Uh, was injured in 07. So what Tony was sharing in regards to the Wounded Warrior Project, 
one of the big things that they do is the bag for carry. It's a backpack of gear. When uh -huh. we get, uh, when I was injured, I lost my leg uh, above the knee over in Iraq. And uh, when I arrived in Landstuhl, I got nothing but a gown oh, wow. on me, right? So you don't have anything to make you feel like home or anything like yeah. that. And in this black backpack, which was the, the genesis of the beginnings of the Wounded Warrior Project, is a shirt, a pair of shorts, some underwear, stuff to make you feel more at home. So this is less this hospital. is this is right next this is right next to home for you. Yes. Yeah. 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 Amazing. Both of you amazing for what you guys do. All right. So we're just going to saute these vegetables in some oil here. Absolutely. And this is going to be all our filling, right, for the fajitas. Yes. I think everyone has their own version of their uh, fajitas. You, you can kind of just add whatever you want, right, basically after this. Huh? Flavor to taste. Yeah, you know, right. I like mine spicy. Tom likes his spicy. So. What's your favorite local food since you've been here? Oh, I love Locomoco. Locomoco. I can eat Locomoco every day. You know, I, I think we've only, this is our sixth season, we've only had one Locomoco on the uh. show. I think we got to do a whole local moco show. I think one day, don't definitely, we? Yep. Definitely, definitely. I've been you? gone for some time, and, yeah. and local moco has come a long way since I left Hasn't in '95. It? It's, it's evolving, right? So it's not just a hamburger patty anymore. Everyone's... There's a couple of places that do a uh, steak local moco. Yeah. There's a prime rib local moco. There's, it, it's, it's, it's crazy. Now. Everyone's getting fancy with their yes. local mocos. But, as long as you have an over easy egg on top. Yes. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. All right. So we're just gonna saute this, and then uh, what else are we making for our fajitas, guys? Well, also we're gonna do guacamole today okay. as well. And then Tom's gonna follow it up with the... All right. Pico de gallo. The pico, pico de, de gallo. gallo. So you know what we do? We'll take a little break, we'll get these sauteing, and then we'll start on our guacamole when we come back. Rock. All right? Sounds Don't good. go anywhere, you guys. Tony and Tom is here from the Wounded Warrior Project. We're cooking Hawaiian style from the Four Seasons Resort on Oahu. <laughs> For 25 years, we've nurtured our orchard and inspired our people to create Hawaii's most unique and award-winning macadamia nut surprises. Look for your favorite treat in our new resealable bags, great as gifts for friends and family, or indulge yourself. Available at most local stores or online. Buy the best by Hawaii Made Island Princess. Grown, made, and enjoyed in Hawaii. Aloha, this is Lanai. I'm going to show you how to make shoyu gohan in my amazing tiger rice cooker. Just add your favorite ingredients, brown rice, leftover chicken, shiitake mushrooms, water chestnuts, and taro bran, just enough cut vegetables and seasoning. Press the brown rice setting, and before you know it, you have a hearty, nutritious meal. Visit the tiger website to find the nearest tiger dealer near you. This segment of Cooking Hawaiian Style is brought to you by Anti Lilikoi and Salty Wahine. Welcome back to Cooking Hawaiian Style. We got Tony and Thomas here from the Wounded Warrior Project. We're making fajitas uh, local style. We're just sauteing some onions, onions, some bell peppers, bell pepper, cilantro. Okay, a little salt and pepper to taste. Salt and pepper to taste. We're heavy in pepper. Yeah, we love that. All right, we're gonna start the um, guacamole, aren't we? How many uh, avocados are we going to use there? Uh, usually two to three. Okay. You got a spoon? I do. I you got do. a spoon. We'll wedge yeah. that out there. Now, the Wounded Warrior Project, what kind, of, what kind of stuff are you guys putting together? Well, mainly we like to focus on uh, our warriors at hand that we have here in the Hawaiian Islands. Uh -huh. When we got out here, uh, when I got out here in uh, 2014, we had 412 registered warriors uh, within the community. Nice. Since then, uh, we've increased our numbers to 1364 wow. is what we have uh, Hawaii-wide. But and not we, to mention we've increased also in Guam and Samoa as that's well. That's great. And we, and we just figured out during the commercial that uh, I've been working with you guys on another level 
Um, and it's been fun. Yeah. Yeah, yeah some definitely. great families. I mean, because a lot of families are affected by, well, you know, the what's big, going on. The biggest part of my recovery was my wife. Yeah. And actually having somebody that, that I could lean on for a lot of my stuff was my wife. So I like to make sure that I pay that back here yeah. in the community. That's great. So as well as not just the warrior, but also taking care of the family support member. But then also amazing. the children as well. Yeah, amazing. So. All right, we're just dicing up some uh, avocados there. Just cubing them. Cubing them up. Yeah, to make it easier when we uh, mash it. Yep. Uh, what are we going to do with this? Are we done with that? We are done with this now. Okay, I'm going to turn that off. All right. And we're just going to leave it there? That's fine with us. Okay, because when we do the fajitas, we're going to have to dice this. We're going to let this uh, skirt steak sit for what, five, ten minutes? Ten minutes to let yeah. the, you know, the juices, everything come out, the flavor. A lot of people don't understand. When you eat a steak, you don't cut it right away. you got to let it sit for a little bit, let all that juices uh, get the outside, get a, little, get a little crust going and let the juices sit in there. All right, how are we doing over there? Ah, uh, we're slow, but that's okay. That's okay, take your time. Working it out. Cubing up some of those avocados for the guacamole. What else are we gonna put in that guacamole? Well, guacamole, and then Go also ahead. the red onions as well. All right, some sweet, sweet onion. Yeah. Do you want me to put this anywhere? Is this okay right here? Uh, you can go ahead and, if you wanna pull that off the... You want me to put it off somewhere? Yeah. And then we're gonna cut the skirt steak too, right? Yes. We do, you wanna do that now? So what do you guys like to do in your spare time here in Hawaii? I mean, there's so much to do. Uh, scuba diving has, has been the biggest thing that I've got out of Hawaii like that. Yeah. I'd like to say surfing, but <laughs> I'm just that you guy. you got that, plenty of time to learn. I'm that guy that falls off his board constantly. What did you just add to the guacamole? So we added the red pepper and the green peppers uh, that we had in there as well uh, to add a little bit of spice and flavor to it. We're doing about a quarter cup of each, right? Yes, okay. definitely. Okay, and we're going to put this on our, our website so you can get all the ingredients. Uh, for this guacamole. Everyone has their own version of guacamole. What is this? So we're going to throw some lime juice in here okay. as well. Okay. Very feel like important that, part. That goes very well. You need that citrus. How yeah. much did you put in there? Uh, I want to say a quarter cup. Okay. So we got I a didn't... couple pinches of uh, salt and pepper. You ready? All right. Thank you. Man, I can't wait to have this steak. It smells good. And then we'll let you cut the steak right after that. And uh, we're doing, uh, what it up? Uh, Something else after this. What else are we making? Pinko de gallo. Pinko de gallo, yes. All right, so you're just going to put some muscle into that, get that all together. Uh, when we come back, we'll start on the pico de gallo, and then we'll put all this together. We got some tortillas. We'll cut up the steak, put all the filling in there, and then we'll eat. How's that sound? Sounds great. All right, don't go anywhere, you guys. Tony and Thomas hanging out with us right here on Cooking Hawaiian Style. <laughs> Welcome to Wolfgang Steakhouse by Wolfgang's Wiener. We use only USDA prime grade black Angus beef, dry aged in house and cooked to luxurious perfection. We also feature excellent seafood, signature sides, homemade soups, crisp salads, delicious desserts and an award winning wine list. And don't forget to join us for the most popular happy hour in Waikiki, 11 to 6.30 daily at Wolfgang Steakhouse by Wolfgang's Wiener. A smile can say so much. At Yim Orthodontics, we are passionate about changing people's lives through orthodontic treatment. Each patient's treatment plan is structured to work with your facial features and ensure your smile is as unique and special as you are. Our experience and use of advanced technology achieves results much more comfortably and quickly. With convenient locations on Oahu and the Big Island, our team welcomes you to join our ohana. Let us help you achieve the smile of a lifetime. They step up. Our service members volunteer to protect us in the most dangerous places around the world. And when they are severely ill or injured, returning to their families is only the beginning of their long road home. Wounded Warrior Project provides these brave men and women whatever they need to continue their fight for independence, at no cost for life. So now it's time for a grateful nation to step up. Join us at findwwp.org.
This segment of Cooking Hawaiian Style is brought to you by Midweek, Hawaii's favorite newspaper every week for recipes and photos from Cooking Hawaiian Style and much, much more. Welcome back to Cooking Hawaiian Style. Tony and Thomas here from the Wounded Warrior Project. We got our guacamole, which is done and ready to go. Tastes excellent. We got our flank steak that just sat for a good 10, 15 minutes. You're going to start cutting that up? Yep. All right, and I'm going to taste this before we actually get in, into this, you know. That's the, the key to this. I'm going to taste this. Don't chop my finger off, okay? Ah, nice. It has a uh, very, like, uh, chorizo yeah. taste. I love that flavor. All right. Tommy, what are we doing next? We uh, dicing up the, the items that we need for our pico de gallo. Okay. Uh, starting with this tomato here. How many tomatoes are we going to use? Uh, about three to four, depending on the again the number of people who are going to be participating right. or partaking in. Um, so, what kind of uh, activities you guys got going on for the uh, Wounded Warrior Project? Well, because it's Hawaii and you can do it year round, anything outdoors between yeah. the hiking that we do, scuba diving, uh, sailing. Uh, but a lot of also surfing as well. We, we partner with a lot of other organizations here in Hawaii, uh, Access Surf being one mm -hmm. of them, uh, that gets uh, wounded service members and uh, wounded members in the community out uh, to surf locally at White Plains and over out of the Halakoa. We do that twice a month. Now somebody well. has to finance all of this. So you, are you guys, is that what the, the program is really about? You guys putting together these events for these families and for these uh, ex uh, military guys? We do finance these uh, these programs uh, through donations because uh -huh. we are a nonprofit like that. But we also have some major teaming partners uh, that uh, also provide us financial That's assistance great. on that as well. That's great. So if anybody wanted to get involved and help with you guys, is there a way that the public or the community can help? Absolutely. If you go to woundedwarriorproject.org and uh, there's a lot of different options to go ahead and donate uh -huh. as well. But if you want to donate your time as well, that's another great you know avenue yeah. of approach that we can always use. Okay. Um, well, I've been donating some of my time. You have been donating yeah, we, some of your we've time. We've been having some fun. We're going to um, say hi to uh, Kayla. Hi, Kayla. Yeah, Kayla works with you, and uh, I got the chance to work with her and, and some of your members. Uh, all right, we got some onions going on the that side. Some green onions. Green yes. onions. I already threw the red onions in there okay. uh, while you guys were talking. All right. And, and for this steak, we just kind of want to just tear it apart to, uh, you know, make fajitas, right? Fajitas doesn't have to be yeah, looking fancy. It goes in a tortilla. You don't really see right. it. Right. Bury it, right? All right. Your cutting skills look pretty good over there. Moana Loa, what year? 93. And we got some um, tortillas. What do you guys like? Flour, corn? Uh, I like flour. You like flour? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I, I like the flour. Flour. I like really homemade ones. They're the best. And you guys did make some homemade ones, right? We didn't get it on film, but they said that they actually <laughs> did homemade tortillas. Did you? Yes. Mahalo Pinterest. <laughs> <laughs> All right, those are some healthy cuts of meat there, boy. Well, either, you know, you're in it all the way or, or are not we at do, all. Are we doing this for, for, what branch are you guys in? I didn't even ask you guys. Uh, Army for me. Army? Uh, I was actually a dual service, so I served in the Navy from 95 to 99 and uh -huh. then in the Army after 9-11. I didn't know you could do a dual service. Uh, I, I got out. I was honorably discharged. The late 90s was a, a high cutback time for the military. Uh -huh. Advancements were pretty tight in the Navy, so uh, I decided to take my skill set as a machinist outside okay and uh, actually I was going back to college when 9-11 happened and when I saw that I figured it's time to get back in the uniform right on change the service okay. decide to be at the tip of the spear there you go so what'd you put in there now uh, I just put some uh, jalapenos okay topped up uh, some jalapeno peppers what about two of them about two and then uh, and then some garlic some okay. uh, minced garlic about a clove of garlic about a clove clove Clover too, depending on how you like garlic. I know we like garlic. I yeah. like a lot of garlic. Everybody so does, right? Add in and some white onions. All right, what do you do? One full onion? One, well, uh, half onion. Half an half onion. onion? Half of a large onion. Some I sweet guess you could Maui say. onions in there. <laughs> All right. And then what are we doing next? Should be throwing some salt and pepper salt in here. Pepper. Salt and pepper. Test. All right, we're gonna put some salt and pepper there. Finish that up. And then uh, we're going to get the tortillas out. We're going to wrap all this together, and then we're going to try it. We're going to see how well these gentlemen have made their fajita. Tony and Thomas from the Wounded Warrior Project, thanks for joining us, you guys. We'll be right back with more Cooking Hawaiian Style. Your home is a canvas, a space to capture the beauty in every day. 
Nobody helps homeowners bring their vision to life better than Ferguson Bath Kitchen and Lighting Gallery. They've got the professionals and the products that make it easy to create your masterpiece. If this is your vision, this is your place. During Gen Air's Your Purchase, Your Reward, receive a free dishwasher with the purchase of a select wall oven and cooktop or select pro-style range. Online or in our showrooms. Experience Ferguson today. This segment of Cooking Hawaiian Style is brought to you by Hapa Haole Kitchen. Welcome back to Cooking Hawaiian Style. What's great about this show is it's so diverse. I mean, you can do anything as we're making some fajitas here, local style. And you guys are going to make my first one. You see that? I warmed up my own tortilla. Huh? <laughs> Multitask. Yeah, multi so we're just going to fill this. You guys, uh, of course, run this down for us real quick. You got a skirt steak. Skirt steak uh, with the peppers that we put on there as well with the onions yeah. as well all right you made some guacamole you can also throw that guacamole in there and thanks Tom what was in the guacamole tell us real quick uh, avocado uh, tomato peppers put plenty I like plenty guacamole and then of course uh, Tommy what'd you make over there uh, pickle de gallo you got some jalapenos tomatoes uh, red and white onion uh, and uh, some some green onions. This is a big this is a big fajita, by the way. And tell everybody real quick, how can they help? If they want to get involved with the Wounded Warrior Project. If you want to get involved with the Wounded Warrior Project, the best way to go to learn how to serve is through WoundedWarriorProject.org. Going there will show you how to you can donate or participate. Or if you've served on or after 9/11 and occurred an injury while in country or in garrison like that, you're eligible to be alumni with us as well. And not just to mention us, but also your family members as well. Wow. This is more like a fajita rito. <laughs> I, I just made something up for you. This is very good, you guys. Somebody's yeah. going to steal that name, by the way. Yeah, for yeah. for Riojito. There you go. Thank you so much for joining us. We're going to put the recipe on our website. I shouldn't talk with my mouth full, but you guys did a great job. Thanks, bro. Thank you so much for being Thank here. You. Thank you for uh, everything that you guys do, by the way, and all the military that's here in Hawaii. We really appreciate what you guys do for the country. Excellent job what you're doing with this program, and uh, please come back and visit us. Absolutely. All right, get the recipes on our website, cookinghawaiianstyle.com. Get our new DVDs and cookbooks. Check me out on Instagram, Cooking Hawaiian Style, and, of course, uh, Twitter and Facebook. We'll see you guys next week for more Cooking Hawaiian Style. Mahalo, boys.